Hi friends. Hope everybody's doing well out there today. Yeah. Morning, afternoon, evening, or night, depending on your time zone. Having a really good day here. I got to run into town with my my friend Michael, uh, and we had a good day so far. Got a spicy chicken sandwich. I got my boots. I'm so excited about it. I uh, good pair of winter boots. It's gonna be everything that I need for the next time I go up on the mountain, which I'm thinking is probably going to be maybe this week, I uh, maybe the beginning of next week. I'm not sure. The weather looks pretty good. Uh, it's going to hold like high 30s, low 40s for the next couple weeks, and I'm really happy about that. Today uh, is the anniversary of my dad's passing away uh, one year ago today, so February 7. And uh, I've been building up to it, knowing that it was coming, because in Betty Ford they taught me uh, a lot about how to to recognize my own triggers, my own issues, uh, my own psychology, basically, as well as the importance of dealing with grief. And a large part of that was because of the program of recovery. The first thing that we learn, uh, or the first thing that we grieve, it was taught to me when we quit drinking or drugging, is the loss of the substance, right, that's been with us. And so they taught us a lot about how to process that and about how to feel about that. And then later in life, how to deal with the triggers that grief can cause, like the anniversary of the passing of our loved ones. And so it's it's something that I, I can do kind of naturally is realize that there might be places in life where I struggle or have problems or where I need to pay a little extra attention to how I'm feeling and and what like these anniversaries I uh, mean and, and how they can cause us to feel without realizing it. So by realizing it, by feeling it, dealing with it in our own ways, we're able to to let it go and, and to to feel good about life rather than trying to ignore those feelings uh, because when we ignore feelings they bottle up inside of us and then they'll come out in inopportune moments in an unhealthy way so that's what I've got today it's a really good day we're in uh, Oroville right now actually running a, an errand for one of Michael's friends and uh, being of service you know isn't that neat all right, I hope you're all doing well out there. As always, God and Jesus bless us all.